Hey guys, today we are next to Volkswagen MIP2 generation infotainment system and I've uh, recently showed you how to replace the USB port uh, from the standard one to the CarPlay capable one and when you are replacing this port, I'm linking um, the video over here and in the description below when you are replacing this port there's some coding uh, to be done it's required to uh, have this uh, work uh, with your iPhone and uh, to have uh, the um, uh, USB media source over here as well so right now I don't have the USB media, media source over here I have CD, navigation card, music card, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input and the USB media playback is missing but the app connect uh, carplay option is over here and it's working if i connect my phone over here my iphone i will have carplay on the screen so let me show you what coding needs to be done in order to have it done properly so you have both the carplay with the new usb port and the usb media playback over here i have obd11 it's only already connected to the car we are going to select module list and we are looking for module 5f which is uh, called multimedia over here and this is the infotainment head unit mine unit of your infotainment system so let's go over here and the first thing that you need to change is in long coding it's in byte 19 i believe i will um I will uh, share details in the description below this video but you can scroll down to byte 19 and there's an option over here byte 19 usb and by default it was set to full and you need to uh, change it to usb ipod and when you do it uh, you will have the uh, carplay functionality if of course your mine unit is equipped with carplay you have replaced a usb port and you have the carplay license installed in the um, in the unit and the second thing that we need to do is go to adaptation and over here we are looking for channel called let me just uh, let me just think for a minute that will be interface for external media activation and we have not active all four and we need to activate the first one so let's select connection one uh, change from not activated to activated slide to right adaptation was accepted so we can go back and let's check if that worked and the usb option is available over here i don't have a usb drive connected but the usb option is here so let me just grab a usb drive with with some um, music files and we will check if that actually works just to be sure let's reboot the uh, mine unit so let's press and hold the volume control knob for about 10 seconds and wait for the screen to go completely off once it goes off you can release the button wait about uh, 15 maybe 30 seconds for the system to start up again over here i have a usb drive with some mp3 files so we are going to check if this is actually going to work and since the usb media source is over here it's grayed out because i don't have anything connected to the usb port yet but let's give the system a few more seconds to start you can see that the menu works car menu works media works so let's try it here here goes nothing and it works i'm not going to play the music because youtube will get all frustrated about copyrights okay that's it for today thank you for watching give me thumbs up if this tutorial helped you also check the description below this video for detailed instructions and um, that's it see you soon